Namaste my loves and welcome back to my channel and welcome to the ultimate backpacking guide. Today we're going to be talking about budgeting your expenses while you travel. I have spoken about money quite often on this guide already so if you haven't seen them go and check them out because they will be so helpful for you because I know money is one of the biggest worries before you go or even whilst you're there. In the previous videos I've spoken about how much money to take backpacking with you and how to keep your money safe whilst you're backpacking. Go check them out if you haven't already. So with budgeting your money while you're out there what you want to do is you want to make sure that you've got a daily limit. Before you actually go, you know, you've saved up this big amount of money. Say, let's say you're going for five months and you've got five grand. So what I would do is I would say, okay, I'm gonna give myself a grand a month. Then you wanna split that into four. So then you would have a weekly amount and then you wanna split that weekly amount into a daily amount, so divide it. So say you've got a thousand pounds per month. What you wanna do is you wanna divide that thousand pounds by four, which brings you to 250 pounds. And then what you wanna do is you want to divide that by seven which would give you about 35 pounds a day roughly the reason i say do this is because you've got your weekly amount and then you've got your daily amount as well so it just really helps you kind of like narrow down how much you can spend each day you might spend more one day than you would spend the other but say for example you have your weekly amount which is 250 odd pounds let's say and then you book your hostel and you know that you're going to be staying in this hostel for like seven days so you know that's taken out of that already so then you know how much you've got left so then you can check how much you can spend on food per day and I'm always going to relate back to Asia because it's so cheap and I always recommend people going to Asia for their first time backpacking or just genuinely backpacking because it's so cheap and you can get your lunch and your dinner for about five pounds I'm not even joking like it's so cheap really give yourself the weekly and the daily budget and then go from there if you want to do activities then I would personally have a separate budget for that have a rough idea of what you want to do before you go because when you're out there you might actually not do them if you spend money on daily trips as well there's trips that you can do you get to a hostel where you're only going to be there for like three days and there's a trip that's like going to cost you about 50 pounds but you've got like three different things and three different places that you go to which is including your food and your trip there and your entry then that's actually all right because you've got your food for that day and you get to see loads of cool things i personally feel like writing things down actually really helps you when you're out there even having your own spreadsheet i know this sounds really weird but i love excel and i think spreadsheets are amazing when it comes to budgeting your money what I always found as well, I spoke about the cards in a previous video, but having a travel card, it gave me the option to draw out a maximum of £200 before I got charged the 3% charge. So what I would do is I'd draw that £200 out, I would keep that £200 on me, and then I would just take out about 20 baht a day when I was in Thailand. I can't remember how much 20 baht is in English pounds, but it was enough to get me some food, and any time that I felt like I needed to come back to the hostel and grab some more, I would, but it would never be a lot. Also, if you're going to be drinking, you're going to be spending a lot more so if you want to budget your money don't drink every single day because you will end up wasting your money because when you drink you don't actually think and you end up spending more because you offer someone else a drink and then do you know what I mean it's just a downward spiral so you're buying like buckets and like they're disgusting anyway so like just think about what you're doing if you if you're budgeting your money think about what you're doing what you're spending it on and also as well give yourself a little bit of budget for clothes because trust me you're going to want to buy some clothes out there I loved so so many clothes I wish I never took as many clothes with me to be honest because I would have bought more just give yourself a budget for everything and then have that for the month and then divide it by four and then divide it by seven and then you've got your daily and your weekly amount I hope that made sense because that felt like it was really complicated in my head also I've spoken about in a previous video the essential travel apps to have on your phone but one of them is the currency converter and I really recommend that because there's some shops that you'll go in and you'll think that seems quite pricey I need to check it so check it again your pounds and if you're like no actually that is actually quite expensive in english pounds i'm gonna give that a miss it's easier to walk away because sometimes you think right when you've got a different currency in your hand and you're not completely sure how it matches with yours and then you see something and it sounds like oh yeah that's super cheap and then you actually check and you think well actually i bought a pair of shorts in a different shop and they were much cheaper so it just depends whether you want to like how much you're willing to splash the cash you know i also want to say have budget for your transport and by transport i mean flights or like over night buses they're not that expensive but to be honest if you know you're going to be backpacking for a while or traveling for a while then you know you're going to be moving around from country to country then have a bit of cash aside and don't touch it so that you know that whenever you're booking a flight you can just dip into that instead of dipping into your other stuff just make sure that you log everything down if you're really really worried and i wouldn't be because you'll probably take more than you need anyway but just if you are worried just write everything down there's some really good books that you can actually get that give you 
you a list of like things that you've bought that day. So you write down what you've bought that day and what you've spent, and then you can total it up each day. So if you feel like that's gonna help you budget your money, then definitely do that. I also wanna say, budgeting your money, you don't have to spend money either. I know that there's websites out there what you can sign up onto, and you can work for accommodation. My friend did this a lot while she was traveling, and it was very inspirational, actually. Like some of the places she stayed in were really cool, and I kind of wish that I did it. And I think if I was gonna do it again long term, I would definitely do that instead because she saved so much money by doing this because she worked to stay and she enjoyed it. I would recommend that if you really wanna save your money and you don't wanna spend a lot, work for accommodation in quite a few places would be really good. Do homestay, like you genuinely won't spend anything because of a lot of the time, you'll probably get fed there anyway. And think about how much you're gonna save. Like you could save for like two weeks and you could save so much money. And all you need to do is just a little bit of work whilst you're staying there. And there's not just places like hostels that you can do this in. You can do this in like really, really cool locations. Shout out to Hannah. She stayed in some really cool spots while she was traveling. And I have to find out the name of the website for you so I can put it in bio down below. And lastly, I wanna say is just think about what you're spending your money on, okay? Don't go overboard. Cause I know sometimes when you get out there, like I was like this, when, you got, when I got out there, I was just like, oh yeah, I've got like this much money. I could just do whatever I want. But realistically, I need to think about, you know, how far is this gonna stretch me? So just use your common sense. Don't go crazy, but still enjoy yourself, you know. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.